My name is Dr. Sebastian Kim, Assistant Provost for the Korean Studies Center and Professor of Theology and Public Life. I'm going to look at the letter of Jude uh, from the Korean Christianity perspective. Jude is one of the shortest books in the Bible. It has 25 verses, and it is uh, very uh, little known about the author and also background. Probably it was written between 50 and 70 AD to a particular community. Jude uh, start in verse four and five, and continues in the uh, first half of the letter, talks about uh, some people, individuals, uh, came from outside and they brought a false teaching and they deliberately came to the Christian community to distract and to provide uh, these false doctrines. And also they were very much uh, uh, practicing uh, the unholy, uh, life conducts. And then verse uh, 17 onwards, uh, the author uh, talks about the encouragement, the kind of call to step fast, call to hold on their faith. Here, Jews talk about uh, several points, which is quite uh, relevant for us and important for our faith. First, um, Jews talks about um, building ourselves up in living faith or holy faith. Uh, that's a quite important phrase, the holy faith. And secondly, Jude also talks about praying in the Holy Spirit. And thirdly, uh, Jude talks about keeping ourselves in God's love. And then fourthly, waiting for the mercy of God and finally, uh, being merciful to those who are struggling and providing and supporting those people. Jude's message is that um, the faith commitment and our practice is not separate thing. And he's talking about uh, a holy faith and also talking about uh, a kind of living conduct waiting for the mercy of God and also show uh, mercy to others. So he's talking about the integration of the faith dimensions and also our practice and ethical dimensions. So what we do, uh, for example, reading the Bible, uh, praying, and also deep into the uh, kind of deeper meaning of the uh, scriptures are not separate from the, our ethical conduct of the, uh, with the other people around us and also our uh, holy living. These are all related and all integrated. So in conclusion, I would like to read uh, this doxology uh, in the end of the letter in Korean and in English. 능히 너희를 보호하사 거침이 없게 하시고 너희로 그 영광 앞에 흠이 없이 기쁨으로 서게 하실 이곧 우리 주 구주 홀로 하나님이신 하나님께 우리 주 예수 그리스도로 말미암아 영광과 위엄과 권력과 권세가 영원전부터 이제와 영원토록 있을지어다. 아멘. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. <laughs>